has drawn a sellout crowd to the Kingdom. Again, the Mariners taking on the New York Yan Yankees in a fight to stay in the playoffs. Right now, that fight not going so well. The score is 5 nothing. Unfortunately, the Yankees ahead. But no matter what the Mariners do on the field today, the team has won over a lot of new fans. And they're showing up. Yesterday's <laughs> record-breaking attendance in the Dome is proof of that. King Five's Kerry Kazarba is standing by outside the Dome. And Kerry, mm -hmm. it's October. The Mariners are still playing ball. The fans just can't get enough, can they? Well, that's right, Alan. They sure can't. The Kingdom is completely full right now. Although the Mariners have gotten off to a slow start, the fans that are inside cheering on the team knows that they are famous for their miraculous comebacks. They say the M doesn't just stand for Mariners. It stands for magic as well. Program. Everybody's buying programs here. Playoff fever here. The air is electric. You can feel the excitement around the Kingdom. Go Amps! Woo! But for nine-year-old Randy Bowlerjack, today is a dream come true. It's really exciting to be out here, and it's amazing that they've made it this far into the playoffs. Randy has been to almost 40 games this season. He says there's nothing better than watching the M's in action. I might think I want to see five the one I had yesterday. Randy and his dad walk into the kingdom more than two hours before game time. They pass up the 100 level and hike to the top. This baseball fan says the view is magical. Man, I love the dome. As he takes his seat, Randy plots his strategy. I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to get some foul balls up here. He's already caught two, one from King Griffey Jr. Dad says baseball is in his blood. He was born to it. I mean, I was I was here for the Pilots in 69. I was here on opening night in 77 for the first game of the Mariners played. His mother used to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game as a lullaby for him. Hundreds of feet below on the field, the grounds crew is also caught up in the excitement. It's just a lot more exciting, a lot louder. And so are fans in the halls. Oh, this is huge, man. I got, I just found out that I was going to the game, and I mean, I was jumping, I was screaming. Too. That's whoa. Randy agrees and is hoping for a win so he can come back tomorrow. He's also planning to join the team in a few years. If I make it to, uh, onto the Mariners team, if I did, then I'd hope it would be here in Seattle. Now, Randy says he hopes the Mariners do get a new stadium so they won't leave town. Now, security is very tight out here tonight. There are some police officers on horseback as well as a lot of security officials inside the kingdom. They say they want to keep the crowd calm and quiet tonight, if that is possible, no matter what happens tonight at the kingdom. Reporting live in Seattle, I'm Carrie Kazarba, King 5 News. Keeping them quiet might be a big task. Thanks, Carrie. And we will uh, keep you updated. On Lori Matsukawa and Alan Schaffler. Well, excitement over the Mariners is reaching a uh, fever pitch at this hour. And this game may be just a little too exciting. My heart's just uh, racing. Here. Is yep. it racing? Yep. Right now, we're talking the top of the fourth. Yankees ahead 5 4, but it was a real exciting third inning. We go back to the Kingdom with Kerry Kazarba and the fired up M's fans. Kerry. Well, it is definitely exciting out here tonight. More than 57,000 fans are inside the Kingdom right now cheering on the Mariners. It's been a very close and good game so far, but fans always knew that the Mariners are the comeback kids. Now, all afternoon, fans have been out here enjoying the excitement outside the Kingdom of being part of the playoffs. Most people are sporting division championship T-shirts. The Mariners played in virtually an empty dome earlier this year, but during the season, they won thousands of big and little fans. I think what they did when Griffey was gone was amazing. The way the guys that stepped up when Griffey was gone, Edgar, Tino, Jay, Flowers, guys that stepped up when Griffey was gone really helped give them a big lift. Well, it definitely has been a great season, and fans are hoping it won't end tonight. And by the way, the Mariners are coming back right now. We hope it won't. Reporting live from the Kingdom, I'm Kerry Kazarba, King 5 News. Keep those fingers crossed. They have had their share of dramatic comebacks this year. They just need one more. Thanks, Kerry. Some Metro bus riders are upset over a proposed... King 5 News. Coverage you can count on. With all the news for Western Washington, today's top story and first alert weather. And now, King 5 News at 6.30. A dismal day for some sports fans who can only imagine with the help of a radio what's going on inside the kingdom at this hour. They're left out in the cold while a do-or-die game is underway on the inside. 
A fierce fight is underway at the Kingdom. Oh, it sure is. Tie game right now in the Mariners. They either win tonight or they go home for good this year, don't they? King Fudge Guard Swanson joins us now with an update. Guard. I just I just got up here. It's, I, it's even hard for me to get uh, away from the set because <laughs> this game's already so exciting. Game four between the Mariners and the Yankees is turning out to be quite a classic battle. New York jumped down to a 5 nothing lead, but the Mariners, like they've done all year, have come back. The Mariners scored four runs in the third inning, then a run in the fifth to tie the game. And right now, they are in the top of the sixth inning with the game tied at five. Of course, we'll update the score for you coming up just a little bit later in sports. But, oh, it's a dandy 5-5. Five, five. All right. Thanks, Guard. All right. Fans, of course, on the edge of their seats in the kingdom as the Mariners fight to pull this last game. Well, not the last game, just this game off. That's right. That's where we find King Five's Carrie Kazarba. Carrie? Well, this game is definitely a nail-biter. Now, we've got a little TV out here, and a lot of fans are sitting out here who could not get tickets to be inside the game, but they are sitting around the TV cheering and groaning, along with the 57,000 fans who are inside the Dome. Everybody's buying programs here. Playoff fever here. The air is electric. You can feel the excitement around the King Dome. Go Amps! Woo! But for nine-year-old Randy Bowlerjack, today is a dream come true. Yeah, it's real exciting to be out here, and it's amazing that they've made it this far into the playoffs. Randy has been to almost 40 games this season. He says there's nothing better than watching the M's in action. I might take it. I want to see five, the one I had yesterday. Randy and his dad walk into the kingdom more than two hours before game time. They pass up the 100 level and hike to the top. This baseball fan says the view is magical. Man, I love the dome. As he takes his seat, Randy plots his strategy. I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to get some foul balls up here. He's already caught two, one from Ken Griffey Jr. Dad says baseball is in his blood. He was born to it. I mean, I was I was here for the Pilots in 69. I was here on opening night in 77 for the first game of the Mariners played. His mother used to sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game as a lullaby for him. These guys aren't singing any songs. They're stuck outside the kingdom. The game on the radio. We had a bunch of tickets and... Uh... delayed weather. And now, King 5 News at 11. Another magic Mariner moment. Edgar Martinez hits the grand slam home run. The M's come from behind to beat the Yankees in dramatic fashion. Now Mariners fans are ready for more. And the Mariners will go for that home sweep against the Yankees tomorrow. Tonight's Mariner game was like so many others over the past two months. It was a heart stopper that kept fans on the edge of their seats. Even people who normally don't like baseball were hanging on every pitch. Incredible stuff. And uh, King Five Star Swanson <laughs> joins us now to tell us just exactly how they did it. I saw it. I still don't believe it. Well, you know, about 10 days ago, I asked Randy Johnson if he believed in superstitions. Mm -hmm. He said outright no, but he believes in destiny. And I think a lot of people do tonight because it was one heck of a ball game. You couldn't have written a better script for the Mariners. Down 5 nothing to the Yankees. The Mariners staged another miracle comeback to win game four and keep their dream season alive. Like every night, it seems like there's always a different hero. Tonight, it was Edgar Martinez stealing the spotlight. Here in the third, he rockets a three-run blast to pull the M's within two. And then in the eighth, with the score six all, Martinez makes the Yankees pay again. This time, the giant grand slam. The best hitter in baseball leads the Mariners over the Yankees 11-8 and now force game five tomorrow. I feel great, you know. Uh, we play tomorrow again, and that's uh, you got to be happy with that. We've always told each other, you know, never give up. Uh, two out lightning, which is uh, basically get the two out hits, and you know that's what these guys uh, we believe in, and that's what we want to do: is go out there and play nine full innings of baseball. Boy, that's what they did tonight. Uh, Edgar Martinez, seven RBI tonight, a new AL playoff record. We're going to have a whole bunch more, including talking to everybody in sports coming up in just a few minutes. A Looking forward to yeah. that. Thanks, guard. And while the Mariners dazzled in the diamond, fans rocked the dome. Boy, did they ever. <laughs> and that party spilled out onto the streets after the game. It's probably still spilling over on those streets mm -hmm. as Mariner media takes Seattle in its grips. Carrie Kazarba is at the kingdom. She has details. Carrie? 
Well, it was truly an incredible experience out here tonight. There are still some fans out here cheering away. They're really enjoying themselves after the game, obviously. Now, the crowd was on their feet, cheering and stomping and clapping through most of the game. I have been to several Mariner games this year, and i got to tell you, this one was one of the most exciting games I have ever seen. Now, in more than 57,000 people were inside, and people who witnessed the game say the Ims came from behind to pull off a miracle. It was a miracle indeed because so many people that were out here tonight say they never believed this could actually happen. With the kingdom bursting at the seams, the Mariners proved they've got magic. Fireworks explode, and so does the crowd. Well, this is the happiest night of my life. Tomorrow will be happier, though. <laughs> Not losing tomorrow. No way. The fans are going to take over tomorrow, and we're going all the way. We do believe. We refuse to lose. A raging river of fans pour out of the dome, celebrating a sweet victory. Some are already sporting world champion shirts. The world champions. I went to the very first match. While the masses yell sweet, Yankee fans say it's not over till it's over. You know, there's still one more left. There's still one more left. And we got the better pitcher going tomorrow, too. But New York is going to have a battle on their hands. It's wartime here in the kingdom. Tomorrow's day is game number three, and we will spank the Yanks all the way home. Fans desperate for tickets wave big bucks at the crowd. 300 each, 300 each. Game tickets. Take this. With baseball fever coursing through their veins, fans lay down the plastic for Mariner merchandise. We're out here, you know, while the game's going on. When they win, we get excited because we know everyone's going to come out happy wanting to buy stuff. But those with little pocketbooks just soak in all the excitement. I love the Mariners. I always go to the baseball games and all that kind of stuff. And my dog always misses me at home. What about the man looking for tickets? He finally scored a couple of seats. I paid 100 each. Was it worth it? It was worth it. Go f***ing Mariners. It is hard to control the excitement out here tonight. Now, what you're looking at right now is a live picture of people outside waiting for tickets for tomorrow night's game. They're going to have a long wait out here tonight, but they say it's worth it because they understand that there are a few tickets still available, and they hope to be first in line to get them. Reporting live from the Kingdom, I'm Carrie Kazarba, King 5 News. Now, Carrie, earlier tonight you mentioned that there was a lot of security around the dome in case people got rowdy. Were people rowdy, in fact, tonight to the point where they had to be arrested? Well, actually, we have not heard of any arrests whatsoever at this point. They were very rowdy, as you could see in the piece, and they were having a great time. But as far as we know, everything was in control, and no arrests had to be made. Good to hear. Quite a bit of energy reverberated <laughs> around that dome. Thanks, Carrie. Well, for a while this evening, it did seem that the entire city, in fact, all of western Washington, just came to a stop as the Mariners made their comeback. And here's proof. We take you to Puyallup, where Tracy and Brian Weber exchange vows and a smooch. The happy couple then takes a turn on the dance floor. Then the bride notices the crowd is thinning, and she finds the whole party in front of the nearest television set watching Edgar play best man. That was the grand slam. We're told the bride even had to hold off throwing the bouquet until the game was over. Tracy and Brian, by the way, here's hoping every day of your married life is this much fun.